Hi friends, welcome to the kitchen. I've been considering of making something really simple to cook for friends and family, especially on social occasions. And for those kind of circumstances, you would need something relatively simple that does not require a lot of equipment, that's pretty fast and has available ingredients. And it should also be beginner friendly and foolproof so you have a lesser chance of messing it all up. We are trying an Indian flavor today and today it's going to be dal. We are going to be cooking it with red lentils and with split peas because those two legumes are really easy to cook and they do not require pre-soaking. And let's go. I start with honing my knives. It makes cooking so much easier. Prepare the mise en place, one large white or yellow onion. Yellow onions tend to get sweeter when you cook them and white onions withstand longer cooking times with maintaining their texture for a little bit longer. We are going to dry saute them on medium heat for 7 to 8 minutes till soft and slightly browned. And then we are going to move into ginger and garlic. Crush and roughly chop the garlic. A lot of flavor and aromatic compounds are contained in the ginger skin. This is why we are keeping the ginger skin on and I'm going to grate it and then run the knife through it to break down the fibers because I don't like the fibers from ginger in my food. Add both to the pan and cook for around 30 seconds but don't allow them to get burnt. Whole spices contain way more flavor than ground spices. Half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, quarter of a teaspoon of coriander seeds and quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes. Pestle and mortar can do a great job in grinding those spices and getting the flavor out but if you want to save yourself from some manual work you can invest into an electric spice grinder. It helps to break down the walls of the spices and release a lot of aromatic compounds. Toast your spices for about one minute. Beware, do not get them burnt. So don't wait for too long and monitor the state of the spices on the pan. Introducing legumes into your diet is super easy to do with some red lentils. They're very easy to cook. You just need two cups of those and you need to wash them as well as one cup of split peas. Also, please do wash them. Just cooking them with the rest of the ingredients in one pot will be enough to cook them through and they will also be safe to eat. Six to seven cups of water and I'm adding one cup of soy milk for some additional protein and nutrients. While tomatoes are not in season or it's quite hard to find flavorful tomatoes, I'm going to use one can of canned tomatoes in BPA-free packaging and those are just richer in flavor. Bring the pot to a quick simmer and then lower the heat to medium and cook under the lid for one and a half hours checking on the pot in the middle of the process just to make sure that nothing sticks to the pan. By this point the flavor has been building up for quite a long time and you will start feeling it and it's time to add the dried spices. Half a teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of ginger powder. Adding the dried spices in the end of the cooking process will allow to preserve a lot more flavor from them. Just run them through your fingers to warm them up. Lower the heat, close the lid and allow everything to cook through for three to five minutes further. What I absolutely love in this dal is that you can add some spinach in the end of the cooking process and it will pair really nicely with all the legumes in there. I'm adding 250 grams of baby spinach and cooking it through for another 10 minutes so it's slightly wilted. Definitely not a traditional step but I'm adding 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of white or rice vinegar, and squeezing half of the lemon in. This one tastes really nice, but you may want to adjust for some salt. I almost forgot fresh herbs. Fresh herbs are great if you add them in the end of the cooking process. I'm adding a bunch of chopped coriander in here. Parsley will also do great and it does add a lot more flavor. And for everyone tracking their micros and macros, here is the nutritional value for 350 grams, which is approximately one serving. 
has a very mellow, very nice, tender taste. At the same time, it's very filling. So you can pair it with something more intense in flavor like coriander, parsley, or add lime or vegan yogurt on a sour side. Did I mention the curry a couple of times? And this is where my mic cut me off. So go check out this recipe. It's amazing, flavorful with a coconut accent. And I promise you will love it if you like the coconut. <laughs> 